Okay, this is Rancher Jerry, and we're going to have a special video today. Like, I don't have that many videos to start with. I have some new friends in Western Ireland, uh, and their channel is Way Out West Bow In Blog. And I'll try to put that down in the description. Uh, great people. I really enjoy their, their they're so honest and straightforward. Uh, just my kind of people. Uh, I just, I, I'm really enjoying uh, their blog or their videos, whatever you want to call it. He has made a, uh, a prototype. Uh, it's a guitar that actually helps or gives support to people that have limited dexterity or any other difficulty in actually playing a, a normal guitar. Uh, he's not getting good resonance out of it, so he asked for suggestions. I know nothing about guitars, but I went ahead and got on the internet, did some real quick uh, research. Excuse me, I had to take a drink there. Did some real quick research, uh, learned a lot, and I'm going to uh, just give you what my recommendation is. And I'll give you the supported research for it if you want it. you got to ask. But that's really boring. So, you're prototype appeared to be a triangle in cross-section and it looked to me like this angle equal that angle the strings are up here going out if that's the case you have no resonance in there the reason is is because of the geometry uh if these two angles are equal then wherever the vibration or sound comes from inside this box it's going to come down the angle of incidence will equal the angle of reflection. And that geometry is going to end up giving you a right angle here, which means it's going to be absorbed. The vibrations are just going to be absorbed by that panel and or reflected right back to itself, canceling it out. You remember when you were in, in, in middle school or whatever, and they would drop a pebble into a, a, a big fountain or a big dish of water, and the waves would go out, and then they would cancel them with another pebble. That's what's going on here. And even though it's really poorly drawn, <laughs> my angles don't equal anything. Uh, it's going to happen pretty much wherever that vibration comes from. And it's going to create a right angle down here. And it's going to feed back on itself. Uh, as poorly as that's drawn, I think you get the idea. So, we're going to. my recommendations are going to be the simplest way. is going to be to take the box the way you've got it. Put a sound hole in it. Sound hole should be 68 millimeters in diameter. Then cut through the side, if you can't disassemble this thing, cut through the side and slide a baffle in. The full length of this thing. To, to, to mess up that geometry, I would put it about a third of the way from this point to the resonant board. About a third of the way up, put that sucker in there, and that should disrupt that that bad geometry you need to put a sounding hole in there uh which would be right where you strum the guitar so if i give you the the, the vertical view you bridge this here ties you get four strings going out or ukulele strings if i recall uh and it would be right here where you're going to strum it that would be your sounding hole. You have to put that in to get any resonance out of that box. And I would strongly suggest this baffle to reduce the the, uh, the contra geometry that's going on. See if that works. If that doesn't work, oh, one of the things you might want to do is take your regular guitar, cut a piece of cardboard out like that so it kind of matches the sound hole in your guitar, and then hit the second to the last string on your guitar, give it a pluck, and while it's playing, slide this cardboard over your sound hole and back, cutting off some of your summer all of your sound hole. And listen to the difference it makes. And that'll tell you that'll tell you right away why I'm recommending this. Okay, there's the the quickie. For a future prototype, or if this doesn't work, <laughs> then I'm, I'm suggesting that you make a box. <laughs> and I hope you do a better box than I can draw. <laughs> Try not to make this go too long. 
Well, that's your data. But anyway, you get the idea. There's your box. Uh, yolk goes out here. There's your your cording. Cording, I like to convert it. Your cording contraption uh, with your key sticking out. Now, that would put your bridge here. That would put your, oh, your sound hole there. You got four strings coming out. And you said you used ukulele strings, so that means it would be a nylon compound, which is just what you want. Definitely don't want steel strings on this. Now, once you've got this in mind, then you're going to want to round off these corners with some kind of a baffle. And that could be hard plastic or anything. But round these corners off on the inside so we so we don't disrupt the resonance again. Yes, I know I gotta do the last one here. See if I can do that without screwing it up. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, for a cartoon it's not bad. The other problem is what do you make this out of? Again, this circle is going to be sixty eight millimeters in diameter. Uh while we're at it, I would make this, oh, I don't have the metric on this, but I would make this, this dimension should be uh, 17 inches, give or take, not critical. And the length of the box, I'm saying should be probably around 20 or 24 inches. Just multiply that times 2.54 and you'll have centimeters. Now, the other important part of that is uh geez i'm getting a lot of paper here i gotta try to make this this fast so i don't get too carried away that box is going to have a, a sounding board on top or the face of the guitar it's going to have sides or walls it's going to have a back now and then of course it's going to have that 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 sound hole in it that i was talking about Here's your dimensions. Inside the wood should be 127 millimeters high. Uh, the thickness of this top wood, of the top, should be 2.8 millimeters. 2.8. Now, chances are you're not going to be able to find a wood that's, that you can work with that's, that is 2.8 millimeters. So what I'm saying is keep that as thin as you can so it vibrates well, so it's got some resonance. Uh, if you have to go to 3.5 or whatever you need to do and you can work with, fine. If you have to brace it to make it, if you can get the thinner wood and in order to give it structurally sound, you have to brace it, then the bracing would look something like it does in a regular guitar, in some regular guitars. There's your hole, there's your key, your uh, bridge, and it would be braced with strips, probably strips of ash would work glued in the underside of this like that one across here one across here that is probably the best way to do it if if you can get the thin wood and that way it will allow it to stiffen up some the bottom wood should be uh, I had 9.5 9.5 millimeters now that's not really critical we just don't want it to make it too heavy we want it to have some resonance even though it's not going to be critical the walls you can make those 10 millimeters or less just so it's structurally sound type of wood is important yeah i had 2.8 up here 9.5 there 10 and 127 thick i measured on the inside type of wood uh sitka spruce sitka spruce that's an excellent wood for the soundboard on the top. Uh, and you got it in Ireland. So that's good. Uh, of course, you want a nice clear piece of wood for the whole thing. Uh, and uh, guitar builders. Uh, oh, I can't think of the word. They, they've got a, it looks like a French word that they use to call people who are guitar builders. Uh, no, I can't put I can't put it out. Um, I'll get that the next time. 
So nice clear piece of wood, probably quarter sawn or or heartwood or whatever you want to talk. Get the heartwood probably break, but try to keep that as thin as you can. Embrace it if you have to. Uh, the bottom, you probably get mountain ash. And that would be good for both the bottom and also the the walls. That's some good stuff. Uh, yeah, the mountain ash is, is perfect for that because it's, it's rigid, it's got some strength, plus it's uh, it's very light. Okay, we've got that. Uh, you can increase the, the base resonance on this or the, the low frequency resonance. If you put a sleeve in the sound hole and drop it, bring it down there to uh, bring it down about somewhere between 60 and 70 millimeters long. And your 68 millimeters would be the interior diameter on that. And again, if you have to go a little bit smaller, that's okay. Try not to go any bigger than that uh, as far as diameter goes. And that's the best you can come up with right there. Uh, don't know what else to tell you. That's about it. I certainly hope one of these suggestions helps you. If you need to, uh, if you need an explanation of why I'm saying this, I'd be glad to give that to you. Just let me know, and then we'll get more detail. I made this as short as I could. Uh, I'm not one to, to talk very fast. I try, but it just seems to come out mumbles at that point. So there you go. I wish you luck. I'm dying to see how that thing comes out. I certainly do. Once again, I, I love your videos. I'm going to try to do more myself. Uh, I'll send you an email with the link to this video and let me know if anything helps. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.